Welcome back. This is the uh, mission, vision, and values topic underneath the banner of the Well Living Workplace. These three words are really important to you and I'm going to ask you to listen to the module and what it is I'm sharing with you and then take some time to write down some ideas around what is your mission, vision, and values. So I'll give you a little bit of the hint of that in uh, a few minutes. But let's just look at the word uh, mission and vision. Now, I appreciate for some people, they may switch these two over. Uh, let me share with you my understanding of mission and vision. Mission is about an external statement that you're giving out to the world that states you recognize what's missing in the world and what you're going to do to be able to deal with what's missing. So if it's something to do with uh, the auto industry, maybe there's something missing there in terms of a, uh, an auto parts store, then you would use a mission to describe what's missing and what you do to contribute to it. But maybe you're a solopreneur and what you do is you're a great coach and you see that people are really missing what it is to live in your next 50. And what you want to do is support them and you need to create a mission about what you see missing out there so that people start to understand your contribution to the world. Now, when it comes to the vision, what we have here is a more of an internal statement that is guidance about the direction that you're going to go. And I always think of the vision statement as for yourself and the staff that you're working with, whether the full-time staff or it might be the team that you've created around the world of all the different people who can help you run your business. And the vision is a, a statement that gives a sense of where you're going that hasn't been stated before and inspires people to get engaged with you around the work that's going to happen to engage in this well-living workplace. When it comes to the values, what we're looking here is at the notion of truth, worth, and usefulness. No, so let me break that down for you. So around the truth part, there's things that you value that are significant to you. These are your truths around the work that you do and how you go about doing the work. Then there's what is of worth to you. It's uh, what do you want to improve about things that are already going on. The, the ideas that uh, hold the, the organization of work together for you. You know that this is worth, it's worth it to you to do this or it's worth it to do this you have that understanding. And then there's this notion of usefulness. And now this is a, um, a little bit of a slight twist because the usefulness is really about creating something new that has not existed before. And what you may do is you may have to create something that's useful called a product, create a service, create an experience. It hasn't existed before, you haven't brought it forward and you're wanting to bring it out to be able to fulfill your mission. Now what you've got to do is you've got to get that product, service, or experience wrapped around the vision, and the vision wrapped around the product, service, and experience so that you can actually create it and give the best that you can into the world. So that's some ideas around mission, vision, and values. Now what I'm going to encourage you to do is before going on to the next video, is actually take out a piece of paper, or three pieces of paper actually, write mission on one, vision on another, and values on the other, and just start writing down all the ideas that come to you about, well, what's missing out there? And what it is that you can do to be able to support um, the, uh, a way in which to help people, to guide people on in their lives. And that would be your mission. When you think about your vision, what would be the kind of statements that would summarize how you're going to inspire people when they're working with you in this future direction? And then of the values you have, what, what's the truth that you're working from? What has worth to you that you want to summarize up? And what is the usefulness? What are some of the things that need to get created that have not been created before and you want to have those? So take the time to write those down on a piece of paper so that you have them and they'll become very useful a little bit later as we move through uh, the videos. Now with that, I'm just going to remind you that where we're going next is around storytelling and story sharing. So I look forward to catching you in the next video.